everyone. Um, I just wanted to jump on and share a few thoughts with you about something that I've been thinking about and really trying to incorporate into my life. Um, as you know, I started the this cooking class, the Power Kitchen, and um, and we're taught and I teach how to I teach techniques. So how to roast, how to poach, how to sear, how to braise. Um, the technique of vinaigrettes and soups, but also I'm bringing in the component of um, illnesses and what do we need to eat to heal ourselves? Um, you know, Hippocrates, food is thy medicine. And, um, and he, he could not have been more right. So, um, but also it's not just the food, it's, it's, our, it's our entire lifestyle. And uh, a piece of that is mindfulness. And uh, uh, Justin Michael Williams is, is gonna come talk to us in about a month about mindfulness and meditation and how it can it can heal, how actual meditation can heal our body and our brain. And he brings the science behind it, not the woo-woo crystals, um, even though he's got those. Um, he brings in the science behind it as well, how it helps us heal. And, you know, we, we hear this word mindfulness tossed about so um, casually, and it certainly fueled um, multi-billion dollar industries but what really does mindfulness mean? And um, for me and food, what that means to me and what I've tried to start to incorporate is to take a pause and be mindful of the food we're eating and where it comes from. So, you know, many years ago, and, and, and I know some of my friends still do, um, but it's certainly gone out of fashion with the cool kids, is um, praying before a meal. And my family never did it, but um, I know many of my friends did, and and um, at least I've gotten out of it. Not that I was ever in the habit, but um, and not not necessarily praying to a god, but being mindful of the food you're eating and um, be grateful for where it came from. And so what I've started to do is um, when I sit down before I eat, I just pause um, and and take a moment. And I think about everything that's on my plate. So for example, I just made this beautiful plate of salmon. It took about 10, 15 minutes. And I think about every component of it. So I have spinach in there. So I think about the farmer that grew the spinach and the worker that picked it and the person that packaged it and the person that brought it to the store and the person that delivered it to me. And I think about the, the salmon and the fisherman that caught it and who packaged it and got it to the store and delivered it to me. And I just take a moment and think about it and acknowledge it and acknowledge everything that had to happen for it to come to me. And then I also think about this fish. This was a living animal. This was alive and this fish gave its life to nourish me to give me life. And so I just, I think about all those things and I just take a minute and I just, and I feel really grateful. I just really feel the gratitude in me for everything that it took for me to have this meal. And, um, and the amazing thing that's happened is at the end of the meal, I feel satisfied in a way that I, I can't recall um, of, of just having, uh, of after a normal meal. Um, you know, it's not the awe after dining at Lamboisie, which is a whole different thing, but, but just an everyday meal, taking a moment, pausing, and, and, and just thinking about what went into this, what animal gave its life so that we could be healthy. Um, and, uh, and so another thing I'm trying to do is, um, I will flip the camera. Oops, come on, how do I flip? Will this let me flip? Nope. Anyways, I set a um, I set a place at my table right here, and I could probably count on one hand the number of times I've done that in um, in uh, you know from before January before this year I could count on one hand the number of times I've done it, and I've done it a few times this month, and um, in January, and it's um, it's incredibly uncomfortable and unnatural because I'm used to standing at my counter and inhaling food. But just taking a moment, I set a beautiful place setting with a placemat and a charger and um, a glass of water and a beautiful glass I got in Mexico. And I just sit down and I enjoy the meal and I have the sun coming in there on my shoulder and I look out at 
my beautiful view that you all know too well. And, um, and I just feel really grateful for it. And I think about that. And like I said, at the end of the meal, when I do that, I feel, um, I feel satisfied and grateful in a way that I don't recall ever having felt that way before. So, um, so I just wanted to share it with you. Also, another thing that I started doing, can you see this little plate? So this is actually a dessert plate. And um, one of the things that I started doing was, um, I really cut back on my portions this year. Normally I would make a bowl <laughs> this size of a meal. And, and I am really paying attention to my body. And what is my body saying to me? Am I full? Like really paying attention to what I'm feeling. Um, because what I've realized is that for the previous 57 years, I've been completely disassociated from my body. And I eat to numb, um, I eat uh, to calm, I eat for stress, I eat for all the wrong reasons. Um, and, uh, and so I've just really tried to pay attention to how I'm feeling. And am I feeling full? Or if I stand, end up standing there in front of the refrigerator, Am I, am I really hungry or am I thirsty or am I anxious? Am I nervous? Am I scared? Am I fearful? And if I am, what, what about it? And then I try to redirect myself away from the refrigerator. But in, 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 in being mindful of how I feel when I'm eating, I realize after a much smaller portion, I'm full and I'm completely satisfied um, physically and now being mindful emotionally. So it's been, it's been quite revelatory for me. <laughs> and, um, and I just wanted to share that with all of you. So bon appetit.